Hey everyone, it's Madeline, and this video is all about what to expect when traveling to San Diego, California. San Diego is located on the coast of Southern California in the United States and is known for its beautiful beaches, mild climate, and attractions such as Balboa Park and the San Diego Zoo. It's one of our favorite cities to visit, and there are just a few things we think you should know before heading out on your trip. If you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like, and if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. Our subscribers help shape our future adventures. If you're a first-time visitor to San Diego, stick around until the end of the video and we'll discuss our must-dos for first-time visitors. Let's get started. Know before you go. California's second largest city is San Diego, and with 70 miles of beautiful coastline, it's no surprise that it's referred to as America's finest city. Located in Southern California, San Diego is about two hours south of Los Angeles and about 17 miles from the Mexico border. Located about an hour and a half from Anaheim, California, it's possible to do a day trip to Disneyland from San Diego if you don't mind the drive. San Diego has an ideal climate all year round. Average temperatures in the winter range between 50 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit, and in the summer months, the average is between 68 to 77 degrees, so there really is no wrong time of year to visit. Things to do. Go to the beach. San Diego's sunny weather and 70 miles of coastline will make you want to spend most of your time at the beach. Our favorite beaches include Pacific Beach, Mission Beach, and Coronado. If you're traveling with your pup or just love dogs, you should head over to Dog Beach, a leash-free beach in the Ocean Beach community. Balboa Park. Balboa Park is one of the nation's oldest public parks and is home to museums, hiking trails, and the San Diego Zoo. Between the architecture, Japanese Friendship Garden, and the Old Globe Theater, Balboa Park is an arts and culture hotspot. It's a nice place for downtime on a beautiful San Diego day. Old Town San Diego. Old Town San Diego is a historic neighborhood that was the site of California's first permanent Spanish settlement. Shops, museums, and restaurants all celebrate San Diego's rich history. You can visit the smoke shop or the general store and feel like you've stepped back in time. Several restaurants in this area would be a great stop for lunch. Old Town San Diego is a great place to explore and learn about the region's history while enjoying delicious food and fun activities. Coronado Island. Located across the bay from San Diego is Coronado Island. Coronado is a resort city with beautiful beaches, great restaurants, and attractions to explore. You can stroll along the boardwalk and pop into the famous Hotel del Coronado for the afternoon. Coronado is also home to a large naval base, so while laying on the beach, you can expect naval aircraft to come by regularly. And you might see Navy SEALs training in the water early in the morning. San Diego Zoo. San Diego Zoo is the most visited zoo in the United States and houses over 3,500 animals, including their very popular panda bears. San Diego Zoo's primary focus is conservation and education and helping protect endangered species worldwide. We usually wouldn't say you should head to the zoo on vacation, but the San Diego Zoo is one of the most renowned zoos worldwide. Cabrillo National Monument. You'll find Cabrillo National Monument at the southern tip of the Point Loma Peninsula. The monument commemorates the landing of Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo at the San Diego Bay in 1542 which marked the first time a European expedition had set foot on what later became the west coast of the United States. You can hike, learn about the area's military history, and explore the old Point Loma Lighthouse. The views of San Diego from this park are spectacular, and it offers visitors a unique opportunity to learn about the early history of California. There is a $20 entrance fee into Cabrillo National Monument. Little Italy. Little Italy has become one of our favorite neighborhoods in San Diego. There are restaurants, breweries, and wine bars all located in this pedestrian-friendly neighborhood in the heart of downtown. The Piazza della Familia is a central hotspot with the Little Italy food hall, restaurants, and special events. We have a Little Italy food crawl video on our channel if you want to see more from this fun neighborhood. Hotel del Coronado. Across the bay from San Diego on Coronado Island, you'll find the famous Hotel del Coronado. This golden age beach resort has been a California icon since 1888. The Dell is a designated national historic site and is also said to be one of the most haunted hotels in the United States. 
The Hotel Del Coronado is one of the most recognizable San Diego landmarks, and the hotel's beachfront location offers stunning views of the Pacific Ocean. La Jolla. La Jolla Beach is one of the most beautiful beaches in the world and is famous for its sunbathing seal population. Pacific Harbor seals and California sea lions line the shore and sunbathe on the beach all day. To tell the difference between the two animals, check out their ears. Sea lions have external ear flaps while seals do not. It's a fantastic sight to see, but be sure to keep your distance and respect the home of these fascinating creatures. The Children's Pool, Seal Rock, and La Jolla Cove are all great viewing spots. Eat great food. San Diego has a rich culinary scene with diverse restaurants for every palate and budget. Perhaps they're best known for their fish tacos, and we've consumed many while in town. We had delicious tacos on our recent trip at La Vecindad in the Hillcrest neighborhood and Roxy's Tacos downtown. We also had barbecue at Phil's Barbecue, an incredible high-end meal at Juniper and Ivy, and fresh seafood at Ironside Fish and Oyster Bar. Breweries. San Diego is home to a thriving craft beer scene. One of our favorites is Ballast Point, which started in San Diego in 1996 and has three locations in the city and many more across California. The Little Italy Tasting Room is an excellent stop for a beer flight. Bolt Brewing is also another fun brewery located in Little Italy. Stone Brewing is another very famous brewery located in Escondido, just outside of San Diego. Where to stay? Coronado Island. Next time we go to San Diego, I think we'll stay in Coronado. You can be in the city in minutes and have a more relaxed stay on the beach. There are great restaurants and so much to do on the island that you might not want to leave. Obviously, the Hotel Del Coronado is the most famous place to stay on Coronado, but you can find other hotels and resorts such as the Marriott Coronado. Hotels on Coronado Island tend to be on the pricier side, so this might be a great spot to look for a vacation rental. Downtown San Diego and the Gas Lamp District. This is where you'll find the highest concentration of hotels, including the Palomar and the Pendry. We've stayed in this area before and thoroughly enjoyed it. After our last trip to San Diego, we wouldn't necessarily recommend staying in this area. San Diego seems to be dealing with some crime concentrated in the downtown area. So if you choose to stay downtown, we recommend researching, reading recent reviews, and possibly checking what security measures are in place at your hotel. We love San Diego and we love this neighborhood and we hope these issues get resolved soon. La Jolla. In La Jolla, you'll find many luxury and boutique hotel options, such as the La Valencia Hotel. There isn't a ton of nightlife in this area, but you'll find high-end dining options and plenty of shopping. You also can't beat the natural beauty of the La Jolla coastline. Other popular hotels in this area include the La Jolla Shores Hotel on the beach and the Torrey Pines Lodge located next door to the Torrey Pines Golf Course. Again, this is a pricier location to stay in, so choosing here will depend on your budget. The beach. If you're looking for a more laid back atmosphere for surfing and nightlife, then Ocean Beach, Pacific Beach, and Mission Beach are all great options for your stay. You won't find many luxury hotels in these beach towns, but you might be able to find a rental property in these areas to suit your needs. Money saving tip. You can drive to Coronado Beach and park for free. It's a bit of a long walk to the beach, but it's one of our favorite places to visit. We also love watching the naval planes take off and land while lying by the ocean. As I mentioned at the start of the video, we'll now discuss our must do's for first time visitors in San Diego. What are your must do's for first time visitors to San Diego? San Diego is famous for their fish tacos. And I think that I have eaten more fish tacos per minute than any other person who's visited San Diego. So I say you got to go find some great fish tacos. There's a lot of taco joints all across the city. And it's just kind of one of those things that when you're there, it just tastes better. Yeah. If you have been following along and watching our videos, you can tell by now that we love to eat. And again, San Diego is a fantastic food city. And after eating all that food, the best thing to do is go plop down on the beach somewhere. We absolutely love heading over to Coronado, going to the beach there. I'd say that's a must do for sure. I think in this video, we have definitely built up Coronado a lot, but that's because we just love hanging over there. It's a little um, slower paced and you can just camp out on the beach all day. 
We also love heading over to Ocean Beach, Pacific Beach. We hung out a lot at the dog beach on our last trip and just had a blast. Some dogs were uh, trying to come home with us that day. It was absolutely hilarious. But that's the big reason that we love to go to San Diego. The weather is just fantastic all year round. And truly, even in the winter months, there's a good chance that you can go and hang out and lay out on the beach. So I think that if you're looking for a nice beach vacation, especially with the family, then San Diego is a fantastic option for you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more from our adventures in San Diego, check out our vlogs up on our channel now.